ranged commanders could have a comeback here in rise of kingdoms which is absolutely not something that i thought that i would be making a video about when i woke up today as you can see the next update called anniversary festivities goes over some of the five year anniversary events for rise of kingdoms as well as a bunch of nice little tweaks that we're going to talk about later including changes to the ranged formation that is the v formation in rise of kingdoms so today we're going to go over everything and i'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on it but first what's going on guys cheers okay the first thing that they go over here is the anniversary events and they start off strong by saying that there is a sign and spoils event where you log in for seven days to gain legendary commanders and other great rewards so this to me sounds similar to the event that we've had in the past where every day or maybe if you log in for the full seven days you're gonna get some number of sculptures of Mulan I think this is how they originally introduced her into the game uh it's possible that it could be a different commander I have no idea what they have planned for this but free legendary commanders just for signing in is a good thing that makes me very skeptical whenever I see them giving away really valuable things I'm thinking in my mind okay there's something later on in this mail that probably isn't so great so they're leading strong we'll have to wait and see okay next there is the rock yearbook this is a look back on your journey from 2022 to 2023 we're so happy to have you with us that's cute okay so we've had uh, a couple of rock yearbooks over the past couple of years I suspect this will be identical to that let there be moonlight collect lunar lanterns and exchange them for limited time awards okay so this is basically going to be like a holiday event that we've seen every couple of months or every month or so we have a puzzle event as well arms master lohar is coming back we have the desert tracks caravan event that carry rare treasures and embark upon the path to the great moon festival okay so this is probably part of the uh let there be moonlight event then we have the circus of wonders behold an incredible circus to win prizes from the amazing parrot brothers okay we've seen the parrot brothers before so nothing new here we have a new zenith of power skin okay so this is exciting for the whales it doesn't look like there is a new zenith of power skin in the game yet and honestly I haven't heard anything through the grapevine so I have no idea what the stats could be for the next upcoming zenith skin but we're gonna find out in like a week at the very latest so that's really exciting they also announced a collab project with the Shanzi history museum we bring you an all new decoration at tiger tally okay that's pretty cool I'm hoping it's something like this uh lucky lion lantern thing over here this has been in the game for a super long time I would love to have something very similar that is kind of like just a new version of it or something or maybe like a different color I don't know it would be cool to have them like side by side next we have the gem rush event okay so this is basically the purchase event as you make more purchases you're going to get more sculptures of a commander that you choose it has to be a commander that you already own and the last time that this was around wasn't even that long ago and I got sculptures of Huo Che Bing and I have I'm pleased to announce that I have actually expertised him at this point his wheel was pretty painful so I didn't record it but uh yeah I, I feel like I kind of got scammed there okay we have the epic glory the tale of glory continues make purchases to get gifts uh I don't know how this works but this looks very similar to the gem rush event does that mean that these are going to overlap are you going to get double value for the same purchases that would be cool uh I might just be misremembering but I don't know if I know what this event is epic glory maybe maybe I'm just forgetting I don't know they announced the grand finals for the Osiris League are coming soon very cool Alliance management improvements I've heard people talk about this and are excited about this as well added a new block list slash pass list feature for Alliance members governors on an Alliance's block list cannot apply to join the Alliance and governors on the Alliance's pass list will be automatically accepted if they apply this is really nice and I know that a lot of our fours are tired of micromanaging you know especially around like Ark of Osiris for example a lot of players leave the Alliance go to other alliances so that way they can register for Ark and then they come back and it's like this whole thing and you have to like it's it's annoying but also like in KVK if you teleport onto you know not your territory basically uh, and then somebody launches a rally at you well great news leaders can put you on the pass list and now as soon as that rally launches you can immediately leave and join the alliance whose territory you're actually on and then you'll be safe from the rally and it'll happen instantly without having to like sit there pending people accepting you and you know getting scared or whatever uh so yeah really good stuff here in the lost kingdom alliance leaders officers and captains will be able to kick out troops that are in alliance rallies constructing alliance buildings or garrisoned in alliance buildings so i believe that this there was some control here already but it seems like i think only the captains could do it before or maybe 
maybe the captains and alliance leaders uh but they've expanded this i don't know which of these I i'm none of these things so i don't know exactly but they've expanded it so that way there are more people who can actually micromanage that uh that specific rally or garrison or whatever which is really good because if, if if some people aren't you know paying attention or in the event where you have you know your garrison captain is you know they just threw their garrison in there and they're busy they're offline they're at work or whatever uh you have other people that can actually manage that which is great season of conquest improvements added previews to story registration you can now view the status of the next story you're registered for cool added a feature to allow you to mark kingdoms as hostile during story registration if a hostile kingdom is matched into the same lost kingdom as yours the system will not try to place them in the same camp as you now it says try it will try to not place in the same camp as you so it just decreases the probability but this is cool so in the past if you've you know gone up against another alliance and you know you had bad blood there or if you were allied with them in the past and they betrayed you or if you allied with them and they turned out to be really weak or really you know they just didn't show up for fights or whatever the case might be now you can kind of try to avoid them in the future which is nice added a new king skill banish use this skill to banish a governor in your kingdom teleporting their city to a random location in the upper left province of your kingdom if the target province has no space they will be teleported to the next outermost province so this sounds kind of similar to the exile skill that we already have in the game that says a city with an active peace shield will be forced to randomly teleport to their initial province when entering lost kingdom if the city does not have a peace shield then it will take 5% increased damage for 30 minutes cannot be used on governors from the same kingdom 72 hour cooldown this is kind of similar but they don't even need to have a peace shield for you to do this and at least you know the province that they're likely going to be teleported to so you can sort of lock that down I assume that you would do this if somebody is like breaking kingdom rules or something like that uh so this is really cool I think that this is uh just another tool that the kingdom has to deal with players that are really just a pain so moving on we have PC version improvements added champion of Olympia, Arc of Osiris, and Lost Kingdom standings to profile pages. Fine. Improve the appearance of some elements in the store interface. Fine. Other improvements improve the usability of ranged mode for troops using the V formation. Okay. Troops using the V formation will be able to switch to ranged mode when on any empty terrain including outside of friendly territory i'm gonna be honest i don't actually know what the change is here because i literally never use ranged i haven't touched the ranged formation since they put it into the game there was like you know the one kvk where that was a thing and then they implemented it into all kvks or whatever with bobber and margaret based on what i'm reading here uh switch to range mode when on any open empty terrain including outside of friendly territory i mean i'm already able to do that right now like I'm I'm not on my territory so I I don't you can let me know in the comment section below how this is different than what it already is in the game maybe it's saying that you can now build arrow towers on enemy territory which you couldn't do before not really sure reduce the time required for troops to switch into and out of ranged mode so right now if I deconstruct this it takes seven seconds it looks like in order to do that um I thought it was 10 so I don't know if they changed this already maybe not maybe they're gonna reduce it to five or three or whatever the case might be but that amount of time that it takes to switch is huge it is a very long time like if you get caught and surrounded seven seconds is like you're melted already you're done added a feature to prevent losing formation when switching modes okay when dragging a troop using the V formation to attack an enemy troop the V formation troop will automatically select a suitable position to switch into ranged mode. Okay, that's cool. Added many new achievements and new achievement rewards. This is unrelated to ranged. Adjusted the text for some armament effects in battle reports, making it more clear. That's good. Added a secondary confirmation when a garrison's captain exits the garrison. Nice. Added alliance territory and name displays to the bastion and resource categories of the minimap. Very cool improve the display effects of camp icons in lost kingdom and improve the feel of interacting with all chests in the tavern improve the feel okay interesting there now a couple of things first of all their interest in adjusting ranged combat is quite shocking okay I think that for some for and this is just my opinion part portion of the video okay we've gone through the whole mail uh but it seems to be the case that virtually nobody uses ranged formation I I've seen maybe two or three arrow towers in my current kvk 
and they were by players who were basically offline or they were basically uh you know farm accounts or whatever the case is they were by the pass or whatever um nobody uses it okay nobody uses range formation it's a joke uh the commanders that use range are a joke uh it's just not good okay it's not good and the opportunity cost is the big thing because there's so many good commanders in the game these days that it's like it just makes absolutely no sense to take up a slot here uh for your ranged formation so even if you know you expertise bobber and you expertise margaret uh and you can do okay with them uh you know all things considered the opportunity cost is what makes it just not worth it at all and you also have to build a set for your siege it's a it's just crazy okay so it's been extremely unpopular to uh to do ranged basically in this game and it's interesting to me that they are trying to sort of tweak it and bring it back you know i, I kind of suspected that um maybe we would see this at some point in the future because a lot of players have been wondering you know are they going to release more ranged commanders or is it going to be a part of you know the leadership commander cycle are we always going to get uh you know range commanders instead of leadership you know the last time that we saw leadership we got heraclius but it was part of a it was three commanders instead of just two are we always going to see three commanders uh you know when we have the leadership cycle or is it going to just be ranged or just leadership what's the deal there and it looks like we see from this mail that they have not given up on ranged yet so we could be seeing and i suspect we will probably see more ranged commanders in the future since we now know that they have not given up on this feature will they be good i don't know it seems like the feature is generally dead in the water and this probably will not save it unless you make it like you know two seconds to to switch I, I don't know it just to me doesn't seem like it's good enough the, the problem is siege in general um are super slow and they're countered by every troop type so you know there's such a massive downside to doing ranged and also ranged combat is boring guys let's be real like that is not why players play rise of kingdoms players like to have you know a bunch of armies all fighting in a big ball it's this big chaotic just like massive all-out war and then you introduce a feature where players can sit off in the corner uh, you know with their little range tower and just sit there and do nothing like it's kind of like an it's antithetical to what what players like about rise of kingdoms right um and so i think that it's going to always remain relatively unpopular unless it's like super broken in which case uh players will use it but they won't like it i think that's the best case scenario so yeah i don't think this change is going to really influence the meta at all i don't think we're going to see more ranged units as a result of this but it's worth noting that they are implementing this now perhaps in the event that you know next we should be seeing our next commander release should be infantry but you know we are going to eventually come up to that leadership or range commander cycle uh, and I think they're going to make the tweak now to see how it plays out does it change the amount of players uh, that are actually using this feature yes or no uh and if it doesn't then perhaps they'll make the next set of commanders even stronger perhaps uh, I'm not really sure what I would like to see honestly is for the leadership cycle have one good leadership commander and one decent ranged commander okay um I don't think we need three commanders every cycle uh, for the leadership you know I don't think that's sustainable I don't think it makes sense and also I don't want to see just range or just leadership I think we should keep range in the game I just hope that it never becomes you know overpowered to the point where like okay now you have to build a range set because again it's just boring gameplay from like a fun perspective it is not fun to have ranged uh v formation troops okay so for players who are more passive they can't be online during war or whatever or for players who have farm accounts then cool leave range in the game but um i would like to see one leadership one ranged every cycle that it comes around that's just my personal opinion and i don't think anything here is going to break the game i am excited to see what the seven day legendary commander event is here though um i suspect it's mulan but they could surprise us they could do something cool after all it is the five year anniversary of rise of kingdoms i cannot believe that the game's been around that long that's actually crazy now one thing that is curiously missing from this update is the changes to the equipment system this has been something that players have been talking about non-stop since it was announced i think a week ago at this point uh they announced that they're releasing higher level equipment i made two videos about it the devs already made a response about it and they're basically i guess doing some market research within the community to see how they can implement it better i for full transparency i have not been reached out to to give my opinion on this they have not talked to me about this uh but again they did say in a mail that they were reaching out to players 
to get their feedback and opinions i don't know who they're reaching out to probably some of the uh top tier vip players that's my suspicion and you know that those are the players that are affected the most by this change so i guess it's fair that they would do that but you know we didn't see them address this at all in this update which means they could be pushing back the equipment update farther than we suspected initially uh and that's a good thing i hope that they really get this right i hope personally and i've said this in a video before but i hope that they get rid of the cost to dismantle your legendary equipment um it's absolutely absurd that the cost is so high to do this um you lose so many of your materials it's super unfair and you lose your iconic crystal and you lose the blueprints and you lose the gold it's actually nuts so yeah i hope they get rid of that and hopefully they are doing their due diligence to make sure that this update is as good as possible and then when they're ready to release the equipment portion that will come at a later date but guys i highly recommend this green button right here always click this button always give them feedback always be honest do not curse at them do not harass them but give them your honest feedback tell them how you actually feel about this update do you think it makes the game more fun or less fun is the game moving in the right direction or not this is literally your chance to contact the developers directly they do actually read this they do actually look at this but if you're cursing at them if you're rude if you're obnoxious uh they're obviously gonna just throw it out okay so be constructive be honest be give them your actual thoughts and opinions but don't be you know condescending don't be rude don't be harsh don't be annoying okay just tell them actually how you feel uh and if it's a good update tell them that as well okay give them positive feedback if you like the fact that they're giving us legendary commanders for free tell them that's good and maybe maybe they'll be you know incentivized to do it again in the future if they see something in an update uh, that a lot of players resonate with and a lot of players like so please guys we need the community to not just freak out on discord or freak out on Twitter or freak out in my comment section or freak out in Triscoll's discord or whatever. Um, we need players to click the green button and tell the devs directly. That is the best way to get things done in this game. It's the best way for the devs to hear us. Okay. With that being said, guys, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm. So other rise of kingdoms players might see it today is the last day of August, which means my giveaway is over by the time that you are watching this video. So I will be announcing the winner, uh, either on my discord or in possibly my next video, if I remember to do so. But if you haven't joined my discord yet, the link will be in the description below. Make sure you join there. That way, you know, if you won or not comment down below your thoughts on this update, are you excited for some of these things are you dreading the change to the range i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace